The Book on Watercolor, by Vladimir London. In this video, I will show you the book on watercolor that every student of the Watercolor Academy course gets in a PDF format. The hardcover book is available on Amazon for a very reasonable price. Here's the link should you decide to get it. The contents of this book includes 15 chapters on various topics and covers everything you may want to know about watercolor materials, color theory, and watercolor painting methods and techniques. It also provides valuable information on how to learn drawing and painting skills and gives high-quality resources for fine artists. It begins with the info about the author and forward by Natalie Rishi, co-tutor at Watercolor Academy. The introduction will give you the necessary information on what this book and academy are about. The first chapter explains what watercolor is and how it differs from other water-based media. In the second chapter, you will learn about the history of watercolor and most prominent watercolor artists in the past. It covers the periods from ancient China and Egypt to present days and talks about European and American watercolor artists in the last several centuries. The third chapter talks about what makes a good watercolor painting. It explains the place of art skills and such watercolor materials as paper, brushes, and paints. The next chapter covers in depth various watercolor materials and how to choose the best for your art. It begins with a detailed description of watercolor papers, explaining how paper is made and what it is made of, its quality, weight, textures, tints, formats, shapes, and forms. It provides a very good explanation of how to test those qualities. It also gives good advice that will help you to make the right purchasing decisions. Apart from paper, this chapter gives good info on alternative supports for watercolor painting, such as canvases and boards. The in-depth information on watercolor brushes, their qualities, shapes and sizes as well as how to test those qualities will help you to select the best tools for the job. When it comes to watercolor paints, this book will give you very good info on what such paints are made of and what qualities you need to look for. It describes in detail how to test such qualities and which pigments and paints will make a good palette as well as which ones to avoid. In addition, this chapter will cover other watercolor media and materials. The fifth chapter is about how to set up a workplace for painting in watercolor competently. Support preparation is another important topic discussed in this book. In this chapter, you will learn pros and cons of different ways of stretching paper as well as how to paint on loose sheets. The chapter 7 is dedicated to drawing, which is an important part of watercolor painting. In the following chapter, you will learn color theory and its use in watercolor. It clarifies such terms as color, hue, saturation, chroma, pigment, dye, paint, and explains primary, secondary, and tertiary colors as well as their temperature, values, tints, balance, and harmony. This theory also covers such color contrasts as contrast of hue, light dark, cold warm, complementary, simultaneous and contrast of extension. The theory of tonal values is another important topic covered in depth. This book continues with explanations of the best ways to preserve white paper and light areas when painting in watercolor. And the next very helpful section of this book gives great info on watercolor painting methods and techniques, including such washes as plain, saw, gradated, granulated, and variegated as well as wiping off and washing out, glazing wet on dry and wet on wet, dry brush on dry and moist surface, grisaille, 
Alla prima, stippling, scumbling, retouching and other techniques to name a few. It gives a very comprehensive explanation of every watercolor painting method and technique that will make your painting look brilliant and your creative style stand out. Such a full description of practical ways of painting in watercolor is the biggest and most valuable part of this book. Apart from traditional painting techniques, this book also provides valuable information on tips and tricks for making artworks using special media and materials in combination with watercolor paints. Such techniques push boundaries of watercolor into mixed media. The next chapter discusses various types of perspective in watercolor, including linear, aerial, and light perspective. This book also gives great tips on how to finish a watercolor artwork the right way. In the last chapter, you will find valuable information on the best art courses you can take online, including Watercolor Academy, Old Masters Academy, Life Drawing Academy, Drawing Academy, and Anatomy Master Class. You will also see the list of great books by Vladimir London on how to draw portraits and drawing in perspective. Here's the link to get the book on watercolor in hardcover on Amazon.